Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Wild. I am a certified registered nurse anesthetist. I put you to sleep. Um, I talk a lot about anesthesia on this channel. Sometimes I talk a little travel and fashion and lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the fun topic of being a working mom. I know you guys are so excited to hear about this. No, but for real, if you are a working mom, single mom, stay at home mom, I want you guys to all know like being a mom is a hard job, but it is a fulfilling job and an all consuming job. So kudos to you for being a mom and all of our lives look so different. Um, my goal for this video is to not say you should or shouldn't do this or you should or shouldn't do that. All of our lives are different. We all have different factors that make us who we are and why we do what we do. So my goal today is not to tell you you should do things any differently, but just to encourage and just to talk about maybe something that I feel like a lot of working women that I have talked to feel. So without further ado, we're going to talk about the perception of being a working mom why this is even something we have to talk about, <laughs> then maybe later we can discuss some ways on how to become better parents. Because at the end of the day, we all wanna be really good parents and we all want what's best for our kids. So let's talk about it, guys. two awesome women that I have asked to be on my video today asking three really simple questions. Some of them are kind of open-ended questions because I wanted to show the fact that we all have different perspectives, right? These women are all extremely hardworking. They're all extremely good moms. They all love their kids, their kids' health, diet, well-being, physical well-being, emotional well-being, spiritual being are all super important and it's all something that they think about constantly, that they pray about, that their and their spouses both work together equally to create this healthy environment. And that's why I'm just super excited for, for you guys to hear from them. And full disclosure, they have some different perspectives than I do. They have different pri priorities than I do. And I love that because I think it's important, something I try to work on is being a learner, is maybe not thinking about things from just my perspective, but hearing it from other people's worldview, from their point of view. So that's what I wanna do. But most of all, I just wanna encourage us women. Um, we are to be women that are hard workers, that we are managing our homes well, that we are setting good examples for other younger women. And um, I think if my perspective, being a working, mom, a working wife, a working woman is helping me do all those things. And it's pushing me and it cha it's challenging. Like I, I have to work hard. I make great, lots of lists and me and my spouse, we work together to create a good, healthy environment for our children, for our marriage. And so anyways, I'm going to babble. I could go on and on and on, but more or less, I want you to hear from them and just have this open discussion of what it looks like. I would love to eventually create some sort of interaction of how do we get better? What are some of our weaknesses that we could get better at? So anyways, without further ado, I want you to hear from them. I got my girl, Janae Wahlberg. Janae, say hi to everybody. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the first of my guests on my episode today talking about working moms some of the perceptions of working moms and how it looks different for everybody. So I'm just going to kind of open it up to Janae and have her tell us about herself and what she does for work. Thank you. This is my first time on a YouTube channel. So, um, uh, yeah, excited about this and honored that you asked me. So, um, I am in medical software sales. Um, yeah, so I got married about eight years ago and have two little kiddos and one is about to turn three, our oldest, and the other one just turned one. Um, he's actually just a couple days apart from Mav, 
So um, they're destined to greatness. Little bros, yes. <laughs> um, so all everything that Sarah posts with all her kids' outfits, I'm like, yep, I'm just gonna <laughs> go buy that one and it saves me some time. So, um, but yeah. So, but as far as what I do for work, so I'm in medical software sales, and I actually have um, the honor of working with my husband. So we work together, um, and it started as like a family business you know, way back in the day and it kind of became more of a corporate setting. Um, and so that's where I'm currently at. That's super cool. I love it that you can work with your husband. Not everyone can do that. <laughs> Very <laughs> unique. I know we were in different departments. Like we used to be like, Oh yeah, we can do this. Like, you know, you're over here and, and I'm doing my own thing. And then we like slowly got closer and closer. And now we're like, we're in the same territory. Like we're doing the exact same. Thing. That's when you know you have a good marriage when you can work together and still be civil. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I just have a few simple questions. Kind of like I said before, my goal is just to kind of bring up the topic of working moms. Everyone has a different situation in life. Some people work full time, some people stay at home. Everyone's different. Um, but my goal is just to kind of talk about the perception behind working moms and whether or not you can be a working mom and be a good mom. Um, you know, maybe run your household like you want work on just the relationship part and the discipline stuff that you think is important, which again, everyone's going to have different perspectives. But so I just want to hear from you and from other women and kind of just, so let's just start with something really basic. So my first question to you, what is your perception of a working mom? And maybe that should be more of what was your perception of a working mom before you started working and before you started maybe working with kids? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Growing up, a lot of the uh, women in my life did stay at home and raised us, and then we got more high school age, and they were working. Um, so it really was very circumstantial, obviously, on finances and time of life. So I would say I didn't come into marriage saying, like, oh, I'm going to stay at home or, oh, I'm going to be working. Like, it was, it was something that we've always held in an open hand. Um, when Todd and I first talked about it, it was, Hey, once we have one kid, let's have you work a little bit. Maybe the second kid you'll peel back. And then the third, now we're like, do we even want children? <laughs> just kidding. We, <laughs> we love our kids, but like, you know, we're, it just is different once you're in it in, um, circumstances. So, so yeah, so my, but I would say my worldview, like how I was raised, like, you know, typically the woman's going to stay home and um, the man's going to work. Cool. So then fast forward, like you said, now you have two kids. You still work full time for the most part yep. with the added caveat. They both so they both kind of have this flexible lifestyle right now. And COVID kind of pushed you into this more, but you get to be home a lot more. So you yeah. can pop in, say hi to the kiddos, have like a yeah. good finger on like what's going on in your house. Which yeah. that is huge for like, especially parents that want to be super involved. So you guys are super blessed in that area. For but sure. for the most part, you're able to manage working full time. Um, both you and your husband travel every now and then, but still keep an eye on Like I know for you, like just watching you parent, I know like health is super important, diet, a safe invite, you know, all these things, you know, emotional love and support, you know, those things are you are very good at and you're still able to do that while working full time. So that's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say, like going into these questions, like I really, my goal is to kind of retrain how we think um, of the term working mom. It shouldn't, because there's so many moms that they're like, I'm a stay at home mom, but like they're doing these side businesses as they well. Yeah. yeah. Or like you have to go clean something. So you're not with your kid that second. So does that right. count as like, so I really, I, I'd love to approach the conversation with like um, really focusing us more on like your intentional time with your children versus just, you know, not being present. Um, and so that's more or less how we look at it as a family unit. It's not, is the wife working? Is the dad working? Uh, or like, you know, it's, it's not like segregated like that. It's like as a family unit unit, are we getting family time? And then what's our intentional time with our kids look like? Like that a lot. That's really important. That's cool. Okay. So my next question kind of segues into what you were saying what does an effective or successful working mom look like and kind of what how does it look like being a good working mom while still being a good mom yeah um 
Yeah, I think it. I, it's kind of what I said as far as um, for me, if it's a good week, I had intentional time with my children. For me, my goal is every day. You know, there, there's at least, um, there's. I don't want to put a, a time limit on it, but there is a chunk of time where uh, it was just, you know, me and the kids and I was able to teach them something. We were able to do something together or just play. Um, so that, that's probably when I'm at my healthiest. I will say that intentional time it's like that word intentional is so important because if i don't plan out my day beforehand like it doesn't just happen um, you, my kids just yesterday harper was so whiny at the end of the day and it was like we had someone watching her all day we were all home but and i was there and i would like work next to her and she was still sitting next to me but i, I could tell like she just got so whiny and clingy and as soon as like hey you want to color and do this her whole attitude changed and so it, I could tell like she just wasn't getting enough of that one-on-one -on -one time with me where I was focused on her and not trying to do other things while appease her um, so that was important for us yeah love it okay so then my last question for you is what are the pros and cons of being a working mom so this is actually and I kind of say this as there are a bunch of studies actually done by Harvard, done by some really big organizations on working moms and the actual psychological effects on kids. And they actually have it segregated into boys and girls separate. Um, so I'm just curious, just in your own perspective, in your own perspective, like seeing you and your kids and you being a working mom outside of the home, um, what would you say are the pros and cons? Yeah, yeah. It, again, it's so circumstantial. So if I had to leave my house and be gone by seven and I wasn't getting home till seven, like, you know, I would, I would be looking at this like working mom thing, you know, a little bit differently for how I Absolutely. want my time to look with them. So it is for me, the fact that I can have my own schedule, be at home. I go on trips a lot. And so I come back and I almost get more time with them. Um, because I spend a lot of time working and then I get a lot of time at home. As far as pros and cons, um, I... Let's start with pros. Let's start with pros for you. Okay. What would you say is something you're going to look back in 20 years and be like, this was a positive outcome of me being a working mom? Yeah. Super generalized. The like this, thing? this is all your own perspective. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's like purely yeah. how you think what you think is will be a pro. a pro literally the first thing that comes to my head is traveling we get to travel so much more with the kids um and even as a couple because we work together so we'll go like we're going to vegas in july as a couple without kids which is just as important um you know and and we'll get that time with um out them and, and get to work together so um and then when we're not on work trips we get to take them or we get to do a lot of fun things with them and create memories so um, probably financially you wouldn't maybe be able to do that as much if you were maybe let's say not working as much that and even secondary to that too is todd gets to be around them more like he doesn't have to carry the stress alone like the financial stress of um you know needing to provide every everything so he's not having to work extra hours long hours and he can be more present with the kids um and so for us that is a big benefit because um he gets just as much time with them as i do sometimes and even more if i'm traveling <laughs> for sure can you think yeah. of any other pros or pros i love coming home to them i honestly i love my time away from them too i feel like i get to be focused on what I need to do. I'm growing myself. I feel healthy. Um, the idea you have to invest in yourself spiritually, physically to be able to be sure. a good example. Yeah. yeah. But I will say at the same time you, and this will dip into the cons. It's like you, no matter what side of the fence you're on, you're always you're going to feel that guilt for Not me. Anymore. I actually feel like, yeah, the guilt. It's like, should I be liking it this much? Like, should I be, you know? Well, I, I'm gonna do a side note because that is one of the, yeah. my purposes for kind of doing this video because I do feel like so many women I know have this like guilt. Like, I'm working outside of the home. I'm not present. I'm not physically, mentally, like I'm not there. And, and there's this guilt. Where do you think that guilt comes from? Like, do you think it's something that other people have said? Like, do you, like, your perspective like yeah. 
I've, I think it's, yeah, some, some comments that are made like, oh, you know, like even in conversations that aren't even towards me, they're like, oh, is, you know, your mom, like who's staying home? Who's going to watch the kids? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, so-and-so is going to stay at home because I don't want someone else raising your kids. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> you know, like that. Find that you're not raising your kids. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so that's definitely on the back of my mind. Um, I think all, honestly, there's just always a desire to be with your kids. No time is ever enough time. Like if you talk to a stay at home mom, they're, that's like 10 years removed from the newborn age. They're going to be like, man, it flew. And I don't even remember it. Like, I wish I had more time. And it's like, they were at home 24 seven with them. So it's just never going to be enough time with them. Yeah, that's good. Any other cons that you can think of? Um, cons for me, guilt is the biggest one. That's a big one. This yeah. But otherwise I really can't think of like, you know, sure. There's little moments that you're like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm home working, so I really get to hear and see a lot of that. Right. Yeah, so you definitely I'm not touch. totally removed. Yeah. For sure. Cool. Well, thank you so much for answering some of these questions. I think just at the end of the day, I feel like you are an awesome example to women who have a desire to work hard, to better themselves. But like just anyone that knows you, I know they know you are an incredible mom. You, like you said, you plan oh, a lot. Sweet. No, I'm being serious yeah. though. But I'm just, I thank you for being a good example to women and not because you work, but because you work hard and being a responsible, good mom, no matter your life situation. And if tomorrow you decide to stop working, that's great. I know you'll still continue to um, just be that hardworking person. So thank you so much for being on my YouTube. I'm glad you're talking about this because no one talks about it. It's like, like what in the world? And it's funny, I actually, I literally YouTubed working moms just to see what was out there. And there is like nothing. There's like, like actual movies about it. Like, and then there was a couple like pastors talking about it, but there's not like this sense of community of moms, like talking about it and just saying, Hey, this is the reality. I think there's a lot of negative and I was talking to my husband about this and I was like, Hey, I just like, I don't like, I am in a family full of stay at home moms and they are some of the hardest working moms I know, you yeah, know? So, absolutely. Uh, but my point is I feel like you were talking about those little like talks and like the statements that are kind of pointed towards working women that are like, yeah. but you're going to miss so much. Like, yeah. do you really know what's going on in your household? Like, are you really yeah. raising your kids? And it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm working really hard at it. You know, oh, yeah. like I have all these lists of things that are important, you know, and I know you are too. So anyway, so thank you for being here yeah. until next time. Ooh, drop my pen until next time. Absolutely. Make sure you get my good angle. Okay, okay, okay. No, you have all good angles. She has all good angles. So, anyways. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Janae. We appreciate it. Until next time. Bye. Okay, my next guest is Miss Alicia Wahlberg. And no, she is not technically related to Janae. They just married <laughs> brothers. They're crazy. No, not really. <laughs> okay, but Alicia is what I would say maybe a few steps ahead of Janae and I, age-wise, experience-wise. I'm gonna let her tell you about her kids and her work and about her a little bit. Take it away, Alicia. So I am a mom to three kids, ages 10, seven, and five. They're both all girls. Um, and I have been in nursing for 15 years. Um, before kids, I was full-time. And then once I had kids, I dropped down to part-time. Um, currently, I am working PRN as a nurse and I also just started real estate with the anticipation that I can be my own boss and make my own hours because my husband travels um, and he's going to be starting to travel again soon. Um, so that way I can kind of work my own schedule around my kids, basically. <laughs> That's awesome. Yay. Okay. I like it. Okay. So Alicia is my full-time career gone part-time right now so she can kind of be a little more present just because of her schedule it made it impossible does that sound about right yep cool yep. okay so so this is from like the part-time mom perspective who obviously you loved your career you loved being a part you loved working full-time but just kind of where you were at what worked for your life you felt like you would just drop down a few hours to where you could manage it a little bit better does that make sense does that sound right Okay, so question number one, this kind of goes back into obviously an open-ended question, but just kind of your take on this, but what is your perception 
of a working mom, generalized? Um, generalized perception of working mom. I grew up with a mom who did not work at all. Um, and it was very important to her to be a stay at home mom full time with us children. Um, so that coming from that background, I growing up in my mind, I thought I wasn't going to be a full time working mom. Then when I got into nursing and I, and I felt like what I was doing was significant and I loved it. Um, I decided that I could do both. So, um, I worked about three days a week with the children. And so, you know, I think now my perception has changed a lot from when it was in the beginning. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Kind of just, just our back. I feel like we were talking like our background really plays a big part in like what our just perceptions are. And then as you like, you grow a little bit, you hear other people's perspective and you kind of morph that perspective a little yep. bit. Right. So yep. that's good. Okay. So my next question is what is your definition of an effective, successful working mom? Again, generalized question, but when you think of a, a good mom who also works, what does that look like? Uh, it's like amazing to see moms that can do it, honestly. I, I don't feel like I do it so well, um, but I do see a lot of moms out there who do everything and they are running the show like amazingly. Um, so they're able to work their schedule around their kids. They come home, you know, they do homework, they clean, they're cooking. Like, um, it's, it's actually very amazing. <laughs> I don't know. So that's, that is something like you obviously, and I know this cause I know you and I know this is something yeah. that's very important for you to be, but yeah. so you, so for you, it's important to work, but then also run your household well. Keep it orderly, yeah, okay. clean, yeah. you know, feed your, and I know you, uh, like Janae, are super big into health and making sure your kids are yeah. eating appropriately, exercise, you know, and getting that emotional support as well. You not For just sure. being physically there, but you being yeah. emotionally there and supportive, which is super, super important, right? Um, yes. That's good. I like that. I think, I think, like you said, you know, you have this idea, but it's the reality of can we actually do it? Yeah. Is, is the other a being a mom is, really a, is, is a lot of work and trying to do both it it can be very taxing at times but right. if you want it to work then it works and I think right. that's also where your husband steps in too and you guys kind of just help each other okay third question um all right so this one again is very generalized just kind of your perspective and if you were to think about it what would you say? are pros versus cons of being a working mom outside of the home. Obviously, we kind of I kind of touched base with this with Janae. Obviously, every mom is works hard. Every mom, you know, like but I'm specifically talking about working outside of the home for a period of time. And everyone's it looks different for everyone, but what would you say in your mind, would you say let's start with pros. What are some pros of being a working mom? I think some pros are just that you're keeping up with your career that you started before kids that you went to school for um, and and just bettering yourself as an individual. I am definitely an advocate of, of independence um, at some level. Um, so I think that helps that. <laughs> um, you know, I think it also helps because we, we have our kids in private school, so it can cost quite a bit of money, especially now that all three are going. Um, so in my mind, that's also why I went back to work. Um, cause I did take a break after our youngest was born. Um, but I did go back so that I could help pay for a Christian education for them. Cause that was important Absolutely. to me as well. So yeah, that makes um, sure. just connections with people too. I think sometimes being a stay at home mom is a little isolating, which is fine, but I think everybody needs some kind of support system also. And you I'll definitely get that you. working. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. If you were to say, what are some cons of being a working mom? Um, for me personally, it would be, I know this is a generalized question, but for me personally, it's just trying to get everything done that needs to get done is it can be a little overwhelming. Um, 
I think generally speaking, you're not always going to be able to be at every single event that your kid has. Um, like for example, I had my daughter at a horse camp and it was finishing, but then I got a call um, to go show a house and I had to leave immediately and leave her with a friend. And so that was a little hard for me just because you want to be at everything with your kids, but it's just not physically possible all the time. Um, right. So I think that's a major con. Absolutely. Just feeling busy yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> but Absolutely. Cool. Anything else? Any other cons you can think of for um, you? No, and this is very much geared me. towards you and how you feel. Yeah. Um, no, I think, I don't remember what the saying is, but when you wear a bunch of hats and you can't do anything well, sometimes that's how I feel, honestly. Uh, gotcha. I feel like I have three roles or four roles, really. And sometimes I just feel like I, I can't juggle them all and be good at all of them. So sometimes one has to give and the other. Um, so it's just trying to find that work family balance. Um, that's a little bit difficult. No, for sure. That makes sense. I love it. Thank you for answering my questions on the spot. I asked, I I asked these girls, I'm like, will you answer some questions? And Alicia's like, oh, like, I feel like I need to like, I'm like, no, I want this to be so like not rehearsed. I just want, like, I think it's important for just as, yeah, I think it's just important for us as women. We can hear each other's perspective. We can support each other. I think at the end of the day, we all want to be good moms, right? We all want our kids to be healthy, educated, happy. Well, you know, we have all this perfect picture and we're not going to be able to do everything, but we can work to get better at things we're not good at. Right. So I think yeah. it's just good to start this conversation. And even like, um, you said just, I think our culture growing up has defined some of the way we think. So really stepping back and saying, okay, why do I think what I think? Is it healthy? Do I continue thinking that way? Or do I take steps maybe to change? So I love just hearing your guys's perspective and like some always change too. It's you're, you're kind of evolving with your work family life. So when they're older and in school full time, then you go back to full, full time work if you want. Like, like, absolutely. And something that you've done is you've created multiple avenues for when your kids are out of the home completely, you don't have to start over. I think that is a huge con I've seen of women who gave everything. They like have this midlife crisis. They're like, okay, but what do I do now? You know, like, you know, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> it is that is super overwhelming. So anyways, but okay. Thank you for <laughs> chatting with us, everyone. Alicia Walber. That was awesome. I love just seeing other people's perspective. Cause at the end of the day, we're all very different. We all have different things that motivate us, that push us. And I just love hearing from them. Something that really bothers me in the just society that I grew up where was that a lot of women do all of the work at home and the dads don't do any of the work at home. Now I know those dads learn that from their parents and vice versa. We kind of just hand down generational things, but so many, I think it was my grandpa and I adore him to death, but I, he said he had never once changed a diaper his whole life, never changed a diaper. And I was like, oh, how dare you not ever change a diaper, you know? But it was just that idea that that's the environment they lived in. Um, and my grandma worked, my grandma helped with the family business. She was not just a stay at home mom, you know, but she did everything at home, everything. It's just that idea. I think, I think our generation is getting better at it at, you know, fathers being more involved in their kid's life and being a parent. You know, some people say, well, they're a dad. They don't have to do as much mom, but like, mm, no, you're still a parent. Like you are still to parent your kid. And part of that is taking care of their physical needs as well as their emotional, spiritual, mental needs. I think it's important to hear people's perspectives, but at the same time, continue to do what you think is right, what you think is right with, for your family and kind of tune out all those other voices because at the end of the day, you're accountable, you're responsible for your decisions. We are all products of our own decisions, not other people's decisions and not other people's perspectives. So I just kind of wanted to very much just talk about it and just say, hey, you know, can us women, can we choose to work and be a good mom, be a good wife? And frankly, are there benefits to being a working mom? Anyways, 
I hope this video was just encouraging to you. I know we all have very much different perspectives and I think it's just, I think it's incredible, first of all, that both moms and dads want to be a learner, want to get better, want to be a good parent. Because let me tell you, being in the medical field, I see a lot of examples of poor parents, of just non-present parents. And so kudos to you for wanting to be a good parent, wanting to grow, wanting to be a better parent. I feel like my husband and I, every day we say, okay, what are things that we can get better at? Because... We just want to be learners. You know, we want to see people around us and we want, we essentially want to give our kid at the time, kid, hopefully more kids, you know, just the tools in the future to succeed and do well in life. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I, I want to grow. I want to raise independent people, independent kids that can think for themselves and succeed in a world where there is just so many issues so many issues that's for another day but anyways thanks for being here guys i know this subject was kind of a little different than the rest of my stuff i just have loved being able to share my lifestyle content my work content travel fashion all this fun stuff here on my youtube page it's been a blast you never know what i'm gonna come out with next because it's kind of random but um Cheers, you guys. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below with any questions, any comments and any advice you might have for us. We are always wanting to learn to become better parents, just better human beings and just be learners. So head over to my Instagram. I post all sorts of random lifestyle content. Have a lot of fun. I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you guys a little bit too and just keeping up with anesthesia, work, surfing. We have been doing so much surfing this summer. It's been a blast. But anyways, cheers, you guys. Thanks for being here. Until next time, um, stay tuned for more wildlife content. See you guys later.